Welcome to Shanxi Provincial Gymnasium in Xi'an for the opening game of the Olympic qualifying tournament in China. Tipping us off today is Puerto Rico and France. Julia Montesano and expert coach Laurie Chizik are with you in commentary. Laurie, it's very exciting to be here. It is so wonderful to be here in Xi'an where all four teams will be putting everything on the line for the ultimate prize, which is a trip to the Paris Olympics later in the year. And as you say, we have this afternoon Puerto Rico and France to kick things off. And at 7 p.m. local time, China take the court for the first time to face New Zealand. So two big games coming at you today to tip things off here at the Olympic qualifying tournament in China. As you can see, standing so far, here's where the teams are ranked in the world. China is second, France seventh, Puerto Rico twelfth. And of course, France and Puerto Rico are the two teams we are watching today. We're taking a look at France on your screen now into their warm-up. They've won all nine of their Olympic qualifying tournament games since the first edition in 2012, Low. So we're expecting big things from them today. Well, it's good to know, Julia, that as the host nation for the Olympics, France will automatically qualify, which leaves two other teams from this tournament fighting for qualification. France, however, will want to use these games to continue to grow, to build chemistry, establish rotations as they prepare for Paris. Absolutely. They'll be delighted to delight their home fans in Paris at the Olympics later on this year from July to August over in Paris, very formidable lineup. The France team, of course, we know they're ranked seventh in the world. They've been to the Olympics four times and they've medaled twice. That's coach John Amé Tupan on your screen now. And we're gonna now see Puerto Rico on your screen, introducing the home team for today's game. And Laurie, they certainly could challenge France today. Well, I tell you what, it really doesn't matter who their opposition is. Puerto Rico play with a never-say-die attitude. Their style of play is sometimes unorthodox and a little chaotic, but one thing is for sure, they will not back down, and they certainly excel in that hustle factor. Absolutely, they're ranked 12th in the world. They, of course, went to their first Olympics in 2020. That is where they finished 12th in the world. And then the last time they met France in the Olympic qualifying tournament, they did suffer quite a heavy loss, but they are a different team this time, as Laurie mentioned. A lot of star power in this lineup as we see them take the floor. There's Arela Guirantes, one of their star players today. We're expecting her to have a big game. She's coming off a big America. And then Izalis Guinones, another star player as well. There's full, lots of stars in this lineup. It's great to see that they're, uh, they're out there, they're ready to go. We were able to watch some of their trainings. They're, they're feeling good. They're glad to be here, but they've got things on the line. They want to push it all the way right at France. Here's coach Gerardo Batista. And let's now pause to hear the national anthems of Puerto Rico and France.
So we just heard the national anthems of France and Puerto Rico and we're now witnessing a gift exchange between these two teams and it's something we'll see across the tournament which is a really nice touch and it's something we see traditionally in a lot of FIBA tournaments during the year. So it's great to kick off for melodies in a really nice way. Of course we know the referees, they have a big task today. And today's referees on your screen are James Boyer, Daigo Urushima and Alan Dos Santos. Boyer is an Australian with eight years of experience, Urushima from Japan with five years of experience and Dos Santos the Brazilian also with five years of experience. So a very good panel, a very capable panel refereeing today's game. Well let's get into the lineups and we start with France. A lot of star power in their team. Gabby Williams on screen, we're expecting her to have a big performance as well as Marine Johannes taking some early shots and they're two of their big name players, Laurie, so it's great to see them out on the floor here today. Absolutely. Uh, Johannes, we know, was injured in the last World Cup. Williams is back with the team as well. Both of them were absent from the Euro basket this past season, so it's really super to see them into that lineup. And ably assisted by Badian and uh, others as well. We can see their bench. One noticeable absence is Garuda who is coming back from an injury and they are taking a conservative approach in hopes that she will be available for Paris. But re regardless, it's a strong outfit that we're seeing today. Here is France coach Jean-Aimé Tupin. Of course, he coached this team to bronze in the 2023 Eurobasket edition. We're now going to turn our attention to the Puerto Rican team. We're very excited about what they're expected to produce today. We know they're an interesting team with a few different styles of play that they can pull out. But, Laurie, as we see on a screen, our starting five, Rosado, Hollingshed, Girantes, Quinones, and Benitez. A very consistent lineup to what we've seen in recent tournaments. They are, and they've got eight players that are actually returning from the recent America Cup, and it's, it's great to see those superstars in Girantes, Hollingshed, and Quinones all lining up for this Puerto Rico team. Here is coach Gerardo Batista. His team has only won five of their Olympic qualifying tournament games, so we're hoping to turn that record around slightly tonight, but of course, buoyed by the confidence of reaching the pinnacle at the 2020 Olympics and reaching those games. You see the teams getting motivated, getting ready. Of course, Puerto Rico in the white today and France wearing the navy blue. To watch out for on your screen. And there's not long now until tip-off, Laurie. And excitement is building around the arena. And we're really looking forward to seeing what these two teams can produce today. Well, I'm, I'm really impressed with the crowd that's here to see this early game. And I, I'm sure they'll be uh, experience a real high-quality women's basketball game. But both teams are probably going to be a little bit nervous with so much on the line. So it'll be really interesting to see which team settles into the game first and which team can really establish their style of play. So it's France, the seventh ranked team in the world against Puerto Rico, ranked 12th. Last time these two teams met, France 89 defeated Puerto Rico 51. Puerto Rico will be hoping to get a better result today and disrupt the Olympic host France. Of course, we know they're already qualified, but Laurie spoke about the importance. Both teams getting off to a good start. And as we see them in their final huddles, Coach jean Amé Tupan with his final words to his team, expecting big things, a lot of pressure on their shoulders as the Olympic hosts when the Games commence in Paris later this year. Of course, we saw the starting five. Interesting to know Johannes not in there for France, so she'll have some X factor off the bench, no doubt. But that Puerto Rican starting five, very solid, and they can certainly, they certainly have the capacity to take it up to this French team as they both come to the centre of the court. This is the first game in this Olympic qualifying tournament here in Xi'an, China. A great crowd in the building. Of course, we know. The host nation, China, taking on New Zealand in the next game after this. So plenty of basketball action coming your way, wherever you're tuning in from around the world. Both teams just exchanging the last bit of pleasantries before it gets quite aggressive out there, we expect. Well, I think pleasantries, that's right. As Once that ball is tossed, everybody, it's all about basketball. It's all about 
producing your best performance on the day. And here we go. Welcome to Xi'an in China. For the first Olympic qualifying tournament game, you're watching Puerto Rico taking on Olympic hosts France. And it's going to be Puerto Rico with the first possession of the game. Girantes, a really capable shooter with the ball in hand now, spinning around. Can't get the basket to go, though. What a start that would have been. However, for Tux, now for France. Hands it off to Williams and then gets it back. France taking their time here for the first possession. And Fortux was interfered with as she drove hard to the basket. I think we're going to see a lot of that high on-ball screen from France. Uh, Fortux is really good at using it and making decisions off of it. So France ball from the baseline. A great cut and a great pass to Barty and just couldn't finish off the shot. France get another go at it though. It's back to Williams. A little kick out pass to repair and that one comes out as well so a few shots just missing out benitez though a capable wow. three-point shooter and she makes it rain to start off this game that was such a quick re uh, release from benitez great first shot great first touch for her now for toots with the instant reply i love how these teams the confidence as they're starting and uh, what a great display of shooting so far Here's Rosado, the Puerto Rican captain. It'll be a great battle between her and Fortux this game. Girantes now. Started by Salon. Holding shed. Deep from three. Fortux grabs the rebound. She's been very active to start this game, Manin Fortux. Bardien into repair. Who slaps it out to Williams. Really good block out by the Puerto Rican team to come up with this ball. And we know that Rosada will want to push it every opportunity. Quinones grabs the rebound and gets the bucket to go as well. Here's Williams into Bardian. For Tux and now Solon. France happy to share it around in this offensive set, but it comes off the foot of Benitez was the right idea coming off of that just the pass just didn't quite make it there so puerto rica puerto rica leading france to start off this game five points to three positive start from the home team today for Tukes kicks it out to repair from the corner that one falls to the hands of Girantes, who's off and running against salon Arela using her pace Quinones, Rosado, Benitez. That one just falls short. There's that quick release again. We saw a good ball reversal by Puerto Rico, but equally good push by the French team to try and come up with something in transition and force the Puerto Rican players just to foul to slow things down. It's quite high pressure early on. We see that reach in from Hollingshed affecting Solon's drive. Or Tukes from the baseline into Williams into Salon. Repair provides the screen. Bardian. Fortuks up the top, receives it, and then kicks it out to Salon. Gerantes gets that slapped out of her hands. Puerto Rican ball from the baseline. It's going to be really important for Puerto Rico to make sure that they get a good job, get a good body on the blockouts, because you can't afford to let a team like France get second chance, second, third chance opportunities with offensive rebounds. So Maya Hollingshed inbounding the ball to Captain Rosado. Up against Fortux. Quinones. Foul call there. Hollingshed did a really good job of getting a deep seal and holding it, therefore forcing her defender to come around and, and foul her on that pass. Rosado now into Quinones. He's already scored this game. Girantes yet to get on the board. Hollingshed. Deep three again attempted. It'll be a France ball from the baseline. Second time Hollingshen's gone from that sort of deep triple range. Both times unsuccessful. 
expect those to drop very soon, though. I know the type of player and how capable she is, especially in these major tournaments. Salon. Bardian. The ball slapped away by Hollingshed. Girantes good enough to keep it in, and Kinone is now off and running. Girantes. Expect her and Rosado to trade point guard positioning. Williams. Running in transition for France, Salon just loses it. Oh, that was a four-on-three opportunity for France there that they uh, just let it go astray. I think uh, Puerto Rico was let off the hook there, Julia. Absolutely, they'll be hoping to capitalize on it now. With Rosado looking, appears to run some horns action. Hollingshed again in that range, this time passes it off, but it was just over the head of Quinones. So both teams having a... A few uh, sloppy moments, I'd say, to start. Well, well they're, they're, they're good ideas, and again, that was a good seal. You just have to be able to execute that pass to be able to finish the basket. Salon dumps it into Williams for Tooks. Has repair. Oh, gets rid of Girantes, and that was a clever move. Girantes thankfully able to get up after that one. Transition back into offense. Rosado for three. Bardi and rebounds. Now France looking to push the pace. Repair for Tux. Finds Solon. He wanted to repair. And then now double teams. And it affects the pass. Great defense there by Puerto Rico. It allows Girantes to go. Girantes from three. That one falls short as well. You can see the intent of both teams really trying to push the pace, you know, try to get some early looks in transition. Uh, neither team have really settled into any sort of rhythm. I'd have to say France more than Puerto Rico right now. There's been some really good ball movement on their part, but uh, I, I like the fact that both teams, it's, you know, especially first game of the tournament, testing each other out. You, you want to play that fast-paced game. Get runners out running, push the ball at every opportunity, get some deep seals. So Smith and Melendez on for Puerto Rico and Michelle Bouri comes on for France now. So a bit of experience onto the floor for both teams to try and get rid of their shaky starts. Repair has some space. Williams in the corner, drives in hard, double teams. And Hollingshed's able to claim the rebound. Girantes tries to shuffle Tooks out of the way with force and it gets cut off by Williams. Great anticipation by Williams and she goes all the way, not quite. Must be something on these rings. There's been a lot of good shot choices but they just keep missing. Smith, a great find from Girantes and she got fouled. Two shots to come for Alana Smith. Smith just got behind the eyes of her defender. They turned their head, and it was, as you said, a great find uh, by Garantes. So Alana Smith at the free throw line, coming off a really impressive Euro Cup campaign with GD, GDE SSA Barreiro in Portugal, averaging 18.8 points per game, two and a half rebounds, and two and a half assists. Hometown is Charlotte, and she also spent some time at Mississippi State College. So plenty of experience for this young point guard from Puerto Rico. This is the second shot. Still, Puerto Rico, a slim one-point lead as we cross over the halfway mark of the first term. Bardian, a nice release and a nice finish. So Smith now running the point for Puerto Rico. Rosado off the floor. Looking for Hollingshed. Repair took her all the way up. Melendez now. Smith. A nice move, but it just went too hard off the backboard. She's had quite an impact since she came on. Smith. And another France pass goes errand. We're going to see another set of subs now for the France team. I'd have to say the bigs on both teams are doing a really good job of running the floors and getting to the point of the ring and setting up a seal. The passes have just been a little bit 
off to, to you know, enable them to catch that ball and finish in scoring. But they're certainly doing a great job of trying to establish position. So Roman Bernays onto the floor for France, and she's guarding Smith at the moment. Also, Valerian Ayayi. Girantes finding it very hard in that corner. Gets it off to Roma, but it was cut off by Ayayi into Bernays. The two subs working together, but Girantes got in the way. Great defense, great hustle from Arela Girantes. Well, that's what we say, that never say die attitude. Never stop, keep hustling. Great work there by Ayayi. Good pass to Bernays and Girantes. So strong in defense. And as we see, Manin Johannes into the game for the first time. A great sight to see if you're a France fan. Girantes guarded heavily by Michelle Bury, finds a way through. But Johannes now up and running for France. Hollingshed got in the way of that looping pass from Johannes. Seven plays six. We're going to have a sub for the Puerto Rico team. There's a lot of subs being made by both teams just because of the frenetic pace that this uh, first seven minutes of this first quarter has been a lot of running. Really to not a lot of avail. Seven, six, uh, France's way, but no doubt that will change and they want to keep this pace going. Two bigs on for each team. Jones for Puerto Rico and Shetty on for France. Michelle Bury into Shetty. Ayayi. Not quite. Hollingshen now for Puerto Rico. Goes for the triple and still can't land one. Shetty into Bernays now for France. Michelle Bury waiting for some players to get back. Ayayi into Johannes. Bernays. You can see that Puerto Rico's in a zone right now as they were last time. Rebound gets through a lot of sets of hands, but it'll be a France ball. I like how Puerto Rico are mixing up their defenses. Sometimes on the end line ball, they've gone into a zone. We can see they're in a zone right now. Just don't want France to get comfortable in anything that they're doing. Bernays. Johannes thinks about it and lands it. Money in Johannes. Kicks off her tournament with a big triple for France. Johannes has such a great shot. It looked so good leaving her hand. And she's somebody that you want to keep an eye on and not let her get feel for that shot because she can certainly light it up. Jones wants to find Smith. Now Sofia Roba. Melendez, a great cut. Just couldn't finish the shot. Wide open. Johannes Ayayi. Back to Johannes for back-to-back -back triples! There you go. That's what I was saying. You can't let her get a feel for that. She just caught that and let that fly straight away. What an impact she's had since she stepped on the court. And it does pop the timeout. And no surprise to see it. It's called by the Puerto Rican team with just under two minutes left in this first term. We're going to go into Gerardo Batista's huddle. Take a look at this work from Marin Johannes. The first three was super sweet. And then she gets the pass back from Ayayi from the corner, if you don't mind. Dre is her sixth point. She's been on the court for less than a minute. 
and she's turned this game around, Laurie Chiswick. Well, they're going to have to put a defender on her and make sure that they stay with her and not give her that uh, any space to shoot the threes. Holig Shen nearly loses the ball. She has to use point guard shooties, but Ayayi, great hands, a great finish. Good response out of the timeout. She is so athletic and long and wonderful hands. So France now on an 8-0 run, thanks to back-to-back -back triples from Johannes and then that two from Ayayi. Holling shed, looking for an option. France have come out of this timeout motivated. And Shetty is able to pick up the rebound. And the Danish woman, Johannes, gets it off to Bernays. Roman Bernays. Shetty just couldn't grip that pass. And as you can see, Puerto Rico have not scored a field goal in the last seven minutes. It prompts a substitution. We're going to see India Pagan into the game for the first time alongside the captain, Pamela Rosado. Smith the one take, to take a seat, along with Roma and Hollingshed. Nunez is the other one onto the floor in that sub-period. Rosado into Jones now. Pagan, can she make an instant impact? Jones lines up from three-point range. Johannes into Ayayi now. Michelle Buri. Sherry. Johannes just loses it in the backcourt. So that's what I was talking about at the very beginning. Games like this are so important for a team like France, who's already qualified, as we mentioned, just to get that team chemistry, to get the, the feel of playing together with each other. The more games internationally you can play, the better. Here's a corner shot from Melendez. Just falls short. Ayayu has been very active since she come onto the floor. And Belez has done a good job of running the points. Michelle Booty, the France captain. Ayayi from three. Rosado pushing the pace for Puerto Rico. Jones now, 10 seconds left. Can France or Puerto Rico get one more basket? A lot of bodies flying everywhere and the whistle is eventually blown. Be a Puerto Rico ball. It's great to see this early, this early in the game, just the intensity, the bodies that are going throwing on the line, the physicality, just desperation to come up with it. And Gidantes is going to come back onto the floor for this last seven seconds. Looks like Puerto Rico wants to put a stamp of authority on this first term. Because it hasn't been easy. France certainly started a bit slow, but they found their groove once Johannes come into the game. Four seconds left. Girantes pushing past her. Yeah, yeah, Reyla Girantes can't complete the shot. And at the end of the first quarter, it is France 15, leading Puerto Rico 6. So a good start by France. You know they were a bit sloppy. Both teams are finding their groove. France leading 15 to 6. They'd be happy with their response to that start of the game. Well, it was. It wasn't really till the midway mark, and in fact, probably till Johannes came on the court that it was a bit of a stalemate for both teams. They were doing some really great things but just not being able to, to complete it and finish it off. And, and then Johannes came in and shot those couple of free, threes and really changed the makeup of the game, Julia. Yes, and we look at the stats on the screen now. As you can see, Puerto Rico really struggling, both from two-point and three-point range, one from eight and one from ten, respectively. I think that can be a lot attributed to the, to the really defense that, that France was playing on them and forcing them to take some shots. But we can see this at the beginning. There were a couple of threes that dropped straight away for both teams, which was a, a really nice look. But I like how France is really mixing it up between inside plays and outside plays as well. So shooting that perimeter shot, but also looking and trying to reward their bigs. 
So looking at the best plays from the first term, and although Puerto Rico lost their way a bit, they did have some positive moments, really great hustle and great defense, which is what we expected from them, really. Well, we do. It's just they have to make sure that they're... Anytime they shoot the ball, they have some rebounders out there because, as we saw on the screen, their shooting percentage is, is very low right now. And plus with that, it gives France the opportunity to get out and run, and we saw them really push pace early on in that first quarter. So Coach Gerardo Batista delivering the final words to his team. And don't forget, you can watch all the Olympic qualifying tournament action on the courtside app. Download it now for all the latest news and highlights from around the world. Of course, there's a, plenty of Olympic qualified tournaments going on around the world. One in Brazil, one in Hungary, and one in Belgium. But you're with us here in Xi'an, China. As we're about to head into the second term, where France is leading Puerto Rico. And Bernays will kick us off. Johannes dubs it into Sherry. And a great start from the French team. That's just a really nice mid-range jumper from Cherie, and she's really comfortable with that, any sort of long two. So on court for Puerto Rico, Rosado, Girantes, Quinones, Pagan, and Benitez. Of course, we saw Benitez light it up early at the start, but then once she came off, Puerto Rico sort of seemed to lose their rhythm a bit, but that was, of course, due to the help of Johannes just lining it up as well. Interesting to see how both teams have used their subs so early in this game. Benitez now. Girantes. Trying to get around Michelle Budi. Again, double team. It's been a theme of this game. Well, I think that's a good ploy, but look at Johannes running those lanes and that kick ahead pass. What an excellent pass and finish by France. Marine Johannes on fire, her eighth point for the game. I think it's a, a, a good strategy of France to try and double team jo uh, Girantes because she's so effective. And so they're trying to keep it out of her hands or make her pass it. Bernays was in two miles and ended up traveling. But France with the good start, leading 19 points to six. Mahin Johannes is unstoppable right now. So the Puerto Rico ball will cover the sideline instead of the baseline. Well, it's not only just the points that she scored, but she's brought a real energy to this team, which we know that, that she certainly has. And she that last basket when she was running the floor, she was sprinting down there. Girantes, that one misses as well. So Puerto Rico's poor shooting continues, unfortunately for them. Bernays sets her feet. This time knows what she's doing. The shot falls short and Girantes hustling again under the basket. Shetty and Bernays come to her. Quinones provides the help. Pagan couldn't quite claim the rebound and Ayayi again. A foul called before Shetty threw it into the backboard. So you can see two out of 20 field goals from Puerto Rico, 10% shooting. It's not what Coach Batista would have wanted for his team to start off this game. Well, at the recent America Cups just in July last year, Puerto Rico shot the ball overall at 40% and 31% from the three-point line. So they would be hoping to at least replicate that in today's game. 18-year-old Dominique Malonga on for her first minutes for France today. Her first major tournament. She's played a few exhibition, exhibition matches and look at that reach. Trying to rebound her own shot. And ends up with Rosado though for Puerto Rico. Desperate to respond to this France run. Pagan in some space. Girantes. Guarded by the smaller Bernays. Kicks it out to the corner. Benitez. Quinones and Malonga wrestle for it. A jump ball call. France right now with, um, you know, you were mentioning uh, M Malonga. They've got a really nice mix of some youth and some very experienced players. And, and so it's great to see, great to work with. Oh, Rosado, a clever move, got fouled. So two shots to come for Pamela Rosado. Much needed here. 
France have gone on a big scoring run, at both at the end of the first term and at the start of the second term, leading 19 points to six. And we're going to have a substitution. Alex Duche on for her first minutes of the day, replacing Roman Bernays. So Pamela Rosaldo at the line, the Puerto Rican captain. And when you're having difficulty scoring, these foul shots are so important just to, just to give you a sense of that you're ticking over the scoreboard somewhat. So she makes that second one. Big sigh of relief for the Puerto Rican team, but there's still a long way to go. A great pass to Malonga, spinning around Quinones and getting her first bucket in French colours. Wow, pretty nice move for an 18-year-old. A little spin and step back. A nice glimpse of the future if you're a France fan. Pagan, double teams, has to kick it out to Benitez, but Ayayi again with that long reach has been so impressive. And I think this is a good move by Gerardo Batista getting Maya Hollingshed back onto the floor. You can see there Malonga, a beautiful release. And the bench absolutely love it. Great to see the support. Benitez now for Puerto Rico. Not much longer left on the shot clock, so Holland should have to put it up. And it will be a shot clock violation. France leading 21 points to seven. A really good start by the Olympic hosts. We know they've already qualified, but want to get their structures in place and Take a look at which team they potentially take to Paris. Johannes This is that one. Girantes off and running for Puerto Rico. Fouled all the way through. Great decision by Girantes to, to not pull up or, or be intimidated by the defense there. She took it straight at her. Little hesitation dribble. Uh, now she finds herself at the foul line. So Garantes yet to score this game, zero from six from the field. You can't say she hasn't been trying hard, because she certainly has. It just hasn't been dropping. As we see, a sub for the French team, Iliana Ruper, comes on in place of Alexia Sherry. And here is Arela Garantes, one of the stars of the Puerto Rican team. Average 20.4 points per game, can you believe it? 6.8 rebounds and 3.6 assists in the recent America Cup. Solid numbers at the World Cup to 18 points per game. A known scorer. Duche into Johannes now for France. Ayayi. Malonga. Johannes Ruper. Rosado. Able to collect the rebounds. Benitez into Pagar. Into Hollingshed. Trying to keep Repair away from her, but ooh, it was a foul actually like, there by Iliana Repair. So two shots coming up for Maya Hollingshed. <laughs> so he just collected the arm there of Maya Hollingshed. She's at the line for a couple of shots. Another one also yet to score for Puerto Rico, but now gets her first points. They need, they need her scoring, they need Grantes scoring and, and, and really Quinones needs to be a little bit more of a presence as well when, uh, when she's on the court. Yeah, the big three for Puerto Rico but they've only got three points between them. As we see Gabby Williams speaking of big players, France looking to pile on the pressure as they lead by 11. Johannes kicks it into Williams, Malonga. Duche has a look at it and drains it. See, Malanga was such a presence inside that Puerto Rico were really concerned about her, so they were sagging off, which gave that perimeter passing and a look. Hollingshed steps back. And Johannes now looking for an option on the French side of the court now. Goes herself and why not? Marie Johannes, her third three of the game. 
You know that she's going to pull up. She's a great three-point shooter. She shot two in that first quarter. Wherever she is in transition, you have got to match up and find her early. She is going to let it fly just as we saw. So a timeout called by Puerto Rico. They trail 27 points to 10. Let's head into their huddle to see what Gerardo Batista has to say. Take a look at this move from the French team, Duchet from the top of the three-point line, nothing but net. jean Chupan liking the look of that. And then Mahine Johannes comes and joins the party herself with her third triple of the game. As casual as anything, just come out, coming up the floor looking for her teammates and went, I'll just shoot it myself, thank you. 11 points for Mahin Johannes, leading all scorers at the moment. Puerto Rico really struggling to get their offensive rhythm going. All of their points this term have been from foul shots. Yet to score a field goal in this second quarter. Can Girantes turn that around and change the narrative here? Rosado from the corner. That is much better from the Puerto Rican team. Really good decision by Garantes to pass that. She looked at her rolling, her teammate rolling, but instead passed that to Rosada. Great finish. Boucher to Johannes. Into Malonga. Johannes gets it back now. Back into Malonga. That's great team play. And Malonga is able to finish it off. So great to see the the young and up-and-coming star of the French team being able to finish so easily. Holling Shed now guarded by Malonga and nearly steps out of court and does so in the end. That's great defense from the 18-year-old. She's been really impressive, Laurie. She has, and she just, she just adds another element to that team. She's such a presence inside. Uh, but we just saw her there defending a, a, a perimeter player and really good spacing using her length. Here she is again, but Rosado somehow picking it off. The smallest player on the court, Duche from the corner. Yes! Nothing but net. Duche all of a sudden has hit two triples for the game. Well, it's all becoming a little bit too easy for the French team right now. They're feeling very comfortable in, in what they're running and what they're doing and the shots they're looking at. Ginantes can't go for back-to-back -back triples. Duche though, with the hot hand. Who does she look for in this moment? She goes for Johannes. Gets it back. Oh, over the head pass to Malonga, who can't finish it off. Well, that certainly would have made the highlights real if that had gone off. Ginantes now into Benitez. Duche able to collect the, the rebound. Puerto Rico shooting one from seven this term from the field. Gabby Williams. Johannes, can she go for a fourth? She can! That this was unbelievable! That was a nice little fla flare screen from Rupert. Johannes just came off of that, ready to shoot the ball, and we know she's got such a quick release. She is carrying this France team on her back. 14 points, four from six from three-point range. Holigshed can't respond. Malonga, his long arms collecting that rebound there. Williams kicks it out to Duche for her third of the game. Actually, it's a two, but nevertheless, it missed. She had quite a choice in passing it there. Was both corners was Duche in one corner and Johannes in the other. And here we go, another three. This time she misses repair. Standing alone and getting the rebounds. And it gets knocked out of her hands. So Puerto Rico are clearing their bench. You see Gibson, Melendez, Smith.
and Quinones all coming onto the floor. And Salon is the sole sub for the French team. Two minutes 30 left for Puerto Rico to, to give something and get some momentum heading into the halftime break. Puerto Rico are in their 2-3 zone now. Williams into Salon. And now Duche has been found herself in the corner a lot of times already this game. Doesn't convert that one. Alana Smith running the point for Puerto Rico. Into Gibson on for her first minutes. Hollingshed finds some space. And Ileana Repair finds the rebound. Williams dumps it into Salon. Really athletic grab, but couldn't finish it off. And she's able to hustle back on defense. Great work by Janelle Salon. And Williams can't finish it off. High tempo basketball here in Sion. Hollingshed. Pass went wayward to Smith, and there's a bit of frustration out there for the Puerto Rico team. Well, just a bit of miscommunication. Uh, there was one back cut, and then a look looked like there was going to be another one, and, and Hollingshed thought that she was staying. So again, it's just that two-man game, that miscommunication there. So a timeout called by France for the first time this game. They're leading 35 points to 13. Let's hear from coach jean amé Tupin for the first time tonight. So some great energy in that France huddle and it's no wonder why leading 35 points to 13. They have dominated this game so far, Laurie. Well, and you'd be pretty happy when you know that your team and, and various players are shooting the three ball at almost 40%. That is a really good clip, especially in the first game of a tournament when you're, you're getting used to, to playing here in this stadium. Um, they've done an excellent job. And Duche has played a big part in that. Two threes of her own. Salon. Finds Bardian. Gets it out to Williams and repair. Too long in the key. She was really calling for the ball early. It looked like there was a possibility it could have been a high-low action to her, but on the ball reversal, she was still in there calling for it, and three seconds is the result. Smith finding it hard against Duche. Eventually gets it to Melendez, who's double-teamed immediately into Hollingshed. Try to spin around Williams and it gets cut off by Duche with the active hands. Lays it in for another two. France are doing an excellent job defensively. If any time there's an on-ball screen of showing really hard and, and taking that uh, offensive player off their track and being very disruptive up and in defense. Alex Duche up to eight points for the game, three from five from the field. France on a 9-0 run at the moment. Melendez can't change that. And Gibson stepped out of bounds there. So a France ball from the baseline. And Gerardo Batista looking a bit frustrated there on the sidelines. Not much you can do as a coach in these moments. Well, you'd have to say France are playing smothering defense right now and making it really difficult for Puerto Rico. Salon into repair into Bardian. Guarded by Quinones, holding shit. Can Puerto Rico have the final say on this second term? Holling shit bumps Salon out of the way. Oh, and now did, France have a go. She did all the hard work by running, pushing the ball, and uh, just didn't quite finish. And neither did Williams on the France end, but it doesn't matter. A comprehensive second term performance from the French team. They outscored Puerto Rico 22 points to seven.
to open up a really comfortable lead here in Xi'an, China. Alex Duche played a big part in that. And at halftime, the score is France 37, leading Puerto Rico 13. It's been a very, very promising start from the French team, Laurie. They have been, they have shown why they're such a powerful team in the world. Well, it's been at both ends of the court, too. Uh, I, I think offensively, we've seen their three-point shooting. We can see, as I said, they're shooting 39%, uh, almost 41% from the um, just uh, normal perimeter shots. And rebounding, they've, they've turned the ball over eight times, and I think that happened in the first few minutes of the first quarter when it was a bit scrappy, but since then, I think they've done a great job uh, taking care of the basketball and getting really good shots up. We're going to take a look at the best plays of the second term very shortly and guide you through what was a really impressive performance by the French team. As I mentioned, they outscored the Puerto Rico team 22 points to 7. And it was thanks to the work of Johannes and Duche, mainly Laurie, in offense. They were, it was so impressive on the floor. Well, they absolutely were, and they were shooting that three ball at a really good clip. But what I think you have to do is give credit to their bigs, because every time those bigs, the big players in there were presenting, it forced the defenders to collapse, therefore opening it up for their perimeter shooters. So it was a real two-way street, a real team effort, I thought, with France and an inside look, and then they're opening it up for the outside shot. And conversely for Puerto Rico, a bit for them to think about wasn't their best turn by far, but they still give themselves a chance to get back into this game. Well, a lot of their three-point shots early on were good shots to take. I felt as the game progressed and France up the ante defensively, there were some shots that were, were a little bit more difficult. You know, maybe they need to try and penetrate a bit more and get themselves to the foul, time, foul line. But we do know this thing from, from Puerto Rico is they aren't going to stop. They're not going to give up. They're going to continue to, to work and try and uh, change the tempo of this game. So as we take a look at the stadium in Xi'an, we are going to take a short break as we enter the halftime break. Of course, at halftime, France 37 leading Puerto Rico 13. Education, health, justice. We sometimes take these simple things for granted. They're not common for all of us. We are all born on the same planet, but not with the same opportunities. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are one. We are all on the same team. Let's convince those who never thought they do it that they can. We can. Together, we are stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can be everyone together. Basketball for good. Dillard, and meanwhile, she goes in, scores, 
A very difficult shot is fouled. And has a chance for a three-point play. Yeah, they challenge you on every possession. Beck falls. And that's going to be on a highlight. Super move. Got her on the back foot. Pulled up. Pulled the trigger. Line again goes the long way. That's great hands, quick hands by Manunga. Out in transition behind the back by Van Lu. Razamon can do everything here in Tel Aviv. I want to see that on replay because this was rabble dazzle here. Look, face goes behind the back. Puts the Jets on. Oh, how did she do that? Juan Lee just part of the seas. There's your highlight. That's that's just a super duper move. They try to inbound it. They get it to Dubai. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! They have taken advantage.
Welcome back to Xi'an in China. At halftime, it's France 37 leading Puerto Rico 13. It's Julia Montesano and expert coach Laurie Chiswick with you in commentary. And Laurie Chiswick, what about the game of Marine Johannes so far? Leading in points, assists and Bardian in rebounds. It's been a really comprehensive performance by the French team so far. Well, when Johannes was inserted into the game, that's really when things changed for France. She, she brought energy, she brought her three-point shot, but she also brought some great defense out there. And that's what, you know, I think really changed the complexity of the game was the way that France changed their defense and really upped the ante on Puerto Rico. No surprise to see the star of the French team lining it up at the start of this game. As we take a look at the Puerto Rico warm-up, not the start they would have wanted to this game, that's for sure. What do you think they would have discussed at the halftime break, Laurie? Well, I think it's one of those games where they're going to want to forget about that first half, or at least learn from that first half. Put it aside, reset some goals for, for the rest of this game, what they want to get out of it, how they want to approach it, because they have two more really important games coming as well. So you want to continue to get better. Know that they're going to double Girantes. They know that the France are, are looking at really hard showing. So they need to continue to rebound it, uh, blocking out, get the ball moving through hands because every time you the ball pauses in somebody's hands, it gives the defense a chance to establish position. So they will certainly want to keep things moving and, and try and change the, the narrative for the second half. And what about John and Made Tupan? I mean when your when your team's doing this well, I mean what is left for, the, for him to say? Is there anything else they can add to their game, perhaps? Oh, absolutely. It's such early days for them, and so he'd be really happy with what he's seen. But France wants to be known as a great defensive team, so they need to be able to now continue it. And, and, and they, maybe they'll try some different defensive structures out there, but they want to continue to look, work on team connections. Um, and, and again, it's about every time you step on the court, regardless of what combination it is, you're getting better. They've got, they, they know they've qualified, but that doesn't mean they're going to take the foot off the pedal. They need to get better every time they step on the court. So the leading scorer for Puerto Rico, Pamela Rosado, with the four points and the four rebounds. Very different to France's leading scorer, of course, Marine Johannes, with those 14 points. As we see Puerto Rico enter their huddle. Gerardo Batista, no doubt with a lot on his mind, having a chat to his team and moving the magnets around, no surprise to see, we expect a big response from his team. Well, that's again, he, again, he just needs to make sure that, you know, he's, the, the slate's clear and he's moving forward and I'm sure that's what he's doing with his instructions. So a lot to think about for the coach. Of course, the third term is traditionally where we see the losing teams provide a bit of a response. So we're definitely expecting a fight back. I mean, we probably didn't expect, as good as Rosado has been for Puerto Rico, probably didn't expect to see her as a leading scorer. We would have probably expected the likes of Girantes, perhaps, or Hollingshed, or, or Quinones. So there's still, there's still a lot to come from this team. Well, when you're shooting the ball at 11% from the three-point line and 10% overall, it, it's, it's a pretty hard ask. But one stat that I did find interesting at halftime was that the France team have not gone to the foul line yet this game. So they are getting it done in lots of different ways, shooting the perimeter shot, going inside, finishing strongly against physicality. Uh, but they haven't gone to the free throw line yet. Amazing to see. Of course, we saw the QR code on your screen just before. You can still go to the App Store and download that courtside app. Just, down, just search courtside and get all your Olympic qualifying tournament news, highlights and more. It's the best place to catch up with all the action. You see Manin Fortux getting ready to get things started for her team. And it's time to begin the third period with France taking a 24-point lead. It'll be Johannes into Sherry, into Malonga to kick things off for the French team. Again, really good ball movement by, by France, good spacing, good positioning, and it resulted in a nice, easy basket for Malonga. On court for Puerto Rico, Rosado, Hollingshed, Girantes, Quinones, and Benitez. And for the French team, Fortux, Sherry, Johannes, Malonga, and Ayayi. 
Let's see what Gerantes has. Double teamed once again. It was a theme for the whole first half. And it means Puerto Rico can't get up a shot. Well, they can get up a shot, but they just can't convert it. Johannes into Malonga. For Tooks now. Receives it from Ayayi and drives hard to the basket. And she'll head to the line for two free throws. There we go. First free throws <laughs> of the game for, for the France team and for Fatux, obviously. And uh, it was a nice drive. So Manin Fatux plays for Lyon back in France. Of course, as part of the bronze winning 2020 Olympics team and drafted by the New York Liberty in the WNBA back in 2021. She's been all around the world and had great success. French point guard. So Rosado's second foul there. Their leading scorer at the moment. Girantes looking to get involved, but Ayayi fouled. That was a nice, nice drive by Girantes. She, she initiated the contact on Ayayi and uh, was able to then, you know, get a shot up, didn't score, but finds herself at the line. Often if you can initiate the contact, then you can have a little bit more control. So Aurelia Girantes at the line. Hasn't had her best performance yet. That was just her second point of the game. She has been struggling a lot with double teams and manic pressure every time she gets the ball. But she's able to convert both those free throws. Well, and that's smart by the French team. Of course, she's, you know, their highest scoring player, their best player. They're going to try and negate her the best way she can. No, look, pass by Johannes and Fortux finishes it off. How fun is that? You could see a smile from both players. And, and that's the sort of excitement X factor that Johannes can bring. A pass like that and finishing it off. And now Fortux wants to go back to back. Gets it to Ayayi this time. Into Shetty. Backing down. Oh, and a beautiful feed to Ayayi. Great vision. Great vision by Cherie and her teammate Ayayi. They're having some fun out there right now, and so they should. The bigs are combining, the point guards are combining. Everyone's getting involved in the action for France as they take a 30 point lead, 45 points to 15, and it prompts the Puerto Rico timeout. Let's head into the huddle. So both teams entering back onto the floor. France 45 leading Puerto Rico 15 as we take a look at this recent action from Johannes to Fortux. A great looping pass and then Sheri feeding it back to Ayayi. Some really great teamwork by the French team showing off all their skills and you wonder why they're happy. That's exactly why. Well, it's great teamwork. You know, they're spreading the scoring right now. They're getting different sorts of looks, and uh, it, it's really good basketball out there. Pamela Rosado trying to spin around Mahin Fultux. Girantes now fighting her way through the French defense, and that's a great finish from Arela Girantes. Well, I liked it. It was the fact that she came off two screens. They had to navigate that, and then she went hard to the basket. Now we can see that they're in a 2-3 zone. Just trying to slow the output, but Johannes slides it up again. They're not going to slow down much if you leave Johannes wide open at the three-point line. Her fifth triple for the game. It takes her tally to 17 points and takes France's tally to 48. She's shooting five from eight from three-point range, if you don't mind you. A really great clip of 63%. And here she is with ball in hand once again. She swings it into Fortux. Goes for the long two. Malonga 
secure hands into Shetty, into Johannes, a long range triple. That one just falls short. Rosado into Girantes. Trying to get around Shetty, but couldn't get around Ayayi. Strong defense. Fortux uses her pace. And it's tapped out of bounds. A Puerto Rico ball from the baseline. Malonga just needed to move a little bit as Fortux was driving towards her. She just stood and it was almost a surprise when the ball came to her. Any dribble connotation, you've got to move. Rosado, Girantes into Holling Shed, backing down on Belonga, but a big block from Dominique Malonga. What great experience she is having with this French team right now. Take a look at this. Stayed with her the whole time and then bang. She made that look so easy, but the timing of a block is, is actually pretty difficult. Let's see if Benitez can respond. Gets it back to Rosado. Just chucks up a shot in the end. It somehow falls to Girantes. And Johannes is able to get off and running. The star player of this game so far. Ayayi have some had some really positive moments as well. Johannes can't bank it in. Hollingshed contending with Ayayi eventually breaks free. And Benitez can't catch that pass. I would like to have seen Hollingshed in that instance. I think she's got the foot speed on Malanga to maybe just hesitate and really take it after, at her. However, I guess you have the fear in the back of your mind that a big block could be coming if you do that. Dominique Malanga, six points, three rebounds, one block and one steal. Here's Johannes, 17 points for her. Gets Ayayi with a great pass. Oh, Shetty, that is beautiful champagne basketball from France. A nice little flare pick and then great, great vision by Ayayi to uh, find her teammate. Arela Girantes now. Kicks it out to Benitez, sets her feet. It's a nice look. Just couldn't go in. A no-look pass again to Fortux who scoops it in for France. For Tux and Johannes combining beautifully. And it's not the first time they've done that. And you can see For Tux starting to have an impact in the game. All of a sudden, she's up to nine points. And it prompts the Puerto Rico subs as we see Johannes already looking. Oh, and then the no look pass into For Tux, who gladly obliges. You can see her vision there to Ayayi was just as good and Shetty happy to finish off that shot. That is what you call great teamwork. France have just been so convincing with their passing. Pagan on for Puerto Rico. Gets it back from Smith. And now Menendez able to catch it over the top of Shetty. Bounce pass to Jones. A long two for Brianna Jones and that's a great shot. Well, they needed that. Now, if they could just string together, you know, a couple of stops in a row. Although Johannes scooping it, scooping it back into Sherry for three. Well, you know, when Sherry starts hitting those threes, that everything is going really well for you. And you see two of the big stars for France, Williams and Repair, still on the bench, showing how well they are performing without some of their big stars on the floor. Malonga, one of the ones that's been stepping up. See her there getting in the way. But a nice look here from Jones. Her first points of the game, a big confidence booster for her. And a nice pass from Melendez through the legs of the defender. Here is Tara Melendez into Smith, who bodies for Tooks out of the way. And again uses that body work. Really aggressive drive there by Alana Smith. Just couldn't finish it off. Good to see her showing some intent. 
As you can see, Puerto Rico shooting 22% from the field this quarter. Six points to 18, as we say, C, sorry. Roman Bernays coming onto the floor. Tuk's taking a seat. Bardiem and Salon also out there for France. Melendez. Down Smith. Melendez. Shot clock ticks down to five. Melendez spins around, pops the shot up. And Bardiem able to get the boards. It was a nice little move by Melendez, driving hard, shot fake, got her defender up, but just wasn't able to finish. Johannes and Salon happy to share it around. Oh, beautiful pass into Bardian. Cherie couldn't finish it off. It somehow falls back in the hands of Bardian into Johannes, and they can start again with 10 seconds on the shot clock. Johannes pops up a three. Bernays, good rebound. Johannes gets another go now. Bernays. Salon. From two. Shetty. Can't put it back. And Puerto Rico breathe a sigh of relief. So we see wow. Nani Vargas on the floor for the first time. They had possession for a long time, France. Many opportunities. Guardian into Bernays. Man Bonet into Sherry. Bardian just gets it slapped out of her hands. Good defensive work from Jones. She's provided a bit of a spark in recent minutes. Smith gets fouled on the way in. She'll head to the line. I really like that aggressive push ahead by uh, Smith. She had her head up. She was looking for her teammates, but there was no one there. So nice decision to just pull up here and get that foul from Johannes from behind. Her last two drives of the basket have been quite aggressive, Alana Smith. She is providing somewhat of a spark and trying to get her team ever so slightly back into it and give them some momentum. And now she gets rewarded with a couple of free throws here. So she makes her first, her second point for the game. And the second one goes as well. So we saw Williams for Johannes while those free throws were being taken. Sherry. Into Salon, into Bardian. Kicks it out to Bernays, into Williams. Great passing again from the French team. And Williams enters the game with a bang. It's such crisp passing. It just doesn't give time for the Puerto Rican team to, to be able to rotate and have any impact. That was Gabby Williams' first points for the game. Bardian now has Salon ahead of her, but goes back to Gabby Williams, who kicks it into Bernays. Into Shetty. Vargas hit the floor there, trying to defend the athletic Bardian. What's great for this French team, Julia, is any subs that have made, they've still continued to play the same style of game. They've got good spacing, they're running, crisp passes, inside out. Doesn't matter who's on the court right now. Salon shares it with Williams. Williams driving hard. Gets slapped out of her hands by Melendez. Now Smith. Looks to run a play for her team with two minutes left in this third term. Puerto Rico looking to get the momentum into the fourth term. Jones steps back for three. Salon. Now running towards the opposite end for France. Guarded by Vargas into Sherry. Came the foot of Melendez. So a substitution for the French team, Iliana Rupert comes on in place of Alexia Sherry, who's put in a good stint for her minutes so far today. Seven points, four rebounds and two assists. Bernays into Bardian. And now Williams. Salon in the corner. Nails it. It was a 2-3 zone by Puerto Rico, and they just weren't able to get out to the shooters, and a nice shot by Salon. We saw her out earlier 
at the halftime break. She was just alone shooting from that corner, so it's no surprise to see she converted that one. Bardian now into Williams. Bardian finds herself some space. Roma able to secure the boards. Now Smith, the team down by 40 points. Melendez. Can't bake it home. Manic pressure by the French team. Repair. Banks it in. Really nice soft touch on that finish. She was going quickly on that kick ahead pass, but just had the presence of mind to have a soft finish high on that backboard. Less than a minute here. Let's see what Puerto Rico can do. Vargas gets fouled. And there's two shots to come here for the Puerto Rico team with the French team over the foul limit. So Narima Vargas is at the line for the Puerto Rico team. Average four and a half points and three and a half rebounds at the 2022 World Cup. Spends her time playing with Congresheras in Puerto Rico. Both teams have actually had uh, very good foul discipline. Nobody's, neither team are in foul trouble. You know, sometimes fouls can affect rotations, but both teams have been really uh, doing a great job of, of uh, you know, staying clear, keeping their hands out. A great drive by Williams and count the points as well. Straight up the opposite end, Gabby Williams is able to convert. Puts on the pace and got the contact from Jones on the way into. And the French bench get up and about for that one. Again, demonstrating her athleticism, her speed, and her explosiveness on a step. Of course, Gabby Williams made the WNBA All Defensive Second Team, she's a Euro League champion. Maybe the all Euro League second team is up. A host of accolades for the 27 year olds already in her career. Roma into Jones. That one just falls short. And now just over 10 seconds to work with here for the France team to perhaps get one last basket for the third period. And it falls in for Bernays. A great finish by her and another fantastic quarter from the French team. They put on another scoring clinic, outscoring the Puerto Rican team 31 points to nine in that third period. Marine Johannes was a big part of what they were able to do. And at the end of the third quarter, it is France 68, leading Puerto Rico 22. about continuing to play which which players you know they're still their rotations aren't set yet there you know you can just see some great connections between their big some high low action some great screening action so that's what the coaching staff is looking for is you know who's playing well together who's who's you know looking to do certain things at certain times of the game who can play against the zone so no you just want to play get everybody in there as they've done but certainly still approach this last quarter like you have the rest of the game. What about Puerto Rico? Is there anything they can do a bit differently? Is there anything they can try perhaps to, to try and get some late momentum and some positivity going into their next game? Wow, it's, it's a big ass the way the French is playing that defense. But again, 
it's about trying to read what the defense is giving you. And I think every time they slow the ball down so their passes aren't quite as crisp, then France is there. Any sort of skip passes, France is moving on the flight of the ball. So it's about player movement and ball movement for Puerto Rico and, and really trying to take care of it and get a good shot down the uh, get a good shot every single time down the floor. So France leading by 46 points at the start of this fourth term. Of course, the court side up is where you can watch all the Olympic qualifying tournament action. Make sure to download that to keep up to date. On court now, Benitez sharing it around with Quinones. Shot's got to go up. Shot's got to go up. And it doesn't. Bardian into repair. Back to Bardian. The two bigs combining. And now Bernays can restart things. Michel Booty repair. Williams and Bernays all on the floor for this French team to start off this fourth period. You have to remember that um, that Gabby Williams and Johannes they didn't play in the Euro basket, so so they're you know they're going to need to be players have to get used to playing with them as well. So. Uh, that's what you want to use all these games for. A great block there by Hollingshed. A little smile to her face. A positive moment. Girantes looking for an option. It's a bit stagnant in the Puerto Rico offense at the moment. And it affects the turnover. Michelle Boudin now, the only French player yet to score, gets it into repair and she's having a great day. Well, again, all the bigs are just doing all the right things, running to that point of the rim, establishing position, holding, being a big target out there, and their guards are rewarding them. Rosado, guarded by the taller body, and it's smothering defense once again. Luckily, Gerantes was able to get it. And Williams blocked the shot. Michelle Bouri into Bernays. Repair for the long two. Can't get the back-to-back -back baskets. Gerantes is able to escape the double team. Gets it to Rosado, the captain of Puerto Rico. That's a great three from her. Oh, I'm glad she shot that. She almost looked like she was going to pass it to her teammate, but she was wide open. And they don't get much better looks than that. So great finish by Rosado. Seven points for her. Two from four from three-point from three point range for her. She shot two of her three. Her team's three three-pointers been a positive spark for them. Girantes shoved out of the way by Rupert. Not only smothering defense, but aggressive defense by the French team too, playing all the way to the end despite a, you could say, substantial lead here in Sian. But a great launch there from Pamela Rosado. And she's going to try and get things going on the offensive end for Puerto Rico. Finds Girantes. Trying to get around Duche. It's a nice look, but just couldn't finish it off. Here is Alex Duche. Into Michelle Bouri. Dumps it into Bardian. And that's a nice finish. That is great court vision with the slashing and cutting and moving. So Gerantes delivering some instructions to her teammates now. Quinones hugging the sideline and it falls out of bounds. A hush coming around the stadium, of course. We're expecting the crowd to continue to fill up as China take on New Zealand in the game after this. The host nation of this qualifying tournament up against a new look New Zealand team. Duche into the corner for Bardian. Back out to Duche. Has a look and finds a basket. Great read on where her defender was on that screen. She had a lot of poise there and just pulled up for that long two. Alex Duche has had a very positive impact on this game. Up to double digit points now. 11 for the game. It was actually counted as a three, so. That would be great for her confidence. Williams, a nice finish up against Hollingshed. Every French player is having their moment today. Doing wonders for their confidence as they're about to host 
Olympics in their home country in Paris in July later this year. Benitez, a nice long three, just fell short. Michelle Boudy into repair. Back to Michelle Boudy. And now Duche. Again, that France passing on display. It ends up with Bardian trying to spin around Quinones. It was great defense by Isalis Quinones. It allows Girantes to get off and running for the Puerto Rican team. She's battled hard all game. Arela Girantes has barely taken a seat on the bench. Rosado. Repair able to tap it to Williams' advantage. Gets around Rosado easily and then out to repair. The shot falls short. It's not enough on it there. Maya Hollingshed now. Into Girantes. Goes up hard against Alex Duche. Bodies are out of the way. Um, the shot probably deserves to go it in. It did. was a nice move by Ginante. He did everything but drop in. I think Puerto Rico are just having one of those days. But they certainly have some opportunities to, in this tournament to try and get a win. And Michelle Bouri. Oh, my apologies. Gabby Williams there from the corner. Gets that one to go. And we'll have the first time out of the fourth term as France leads 79 to 25. Williams is up to 11 points right now. And I feel like she's really, um, she's having an influence. Right at this stage of the game, she's really having a, an influence on what she's bringing to the court. And Coach Heraldo Batista not even at the bench at the moment, just saying some things before they even get to the bench. As we take a look at how the, the lay of the land has gone in this fourth quarter, France 11 points to three, Puerto Rico only one from five from field goal range, and France five from 11. They've continued on their merry way and have continued to show why they can perhaps go all the way in the Olympics. As we take a look at here, this feed from Michelle Boudy to Williams. Their passing has just been immaculate all game. Their passing has been excellent, and, and their, their court vision and... and they're passing, you know, up good shots for great shots, and that's the way they have to play. Um, and every single player that's come on the court has, has has had an impact. They've taken care of the basketball. Their shot selections have been really good. And as you say, to me, their passing is what's really stood out in this game. You saw Williams there on your screen. She was yet to score up until half time, and now she's really injected some energy into the game. 11 points, 4 from 9 for the field to go with 2 rebounds as well as Alana Smith hands it to Gibson, so Puerto Rico put a brand new set of 5 players onto the floor a good opportunity for these 5 bench players to put their name in lights and Smith does just, does just that well you could see that she recognised that she probably had had the foot speed there, just the endeavor to get her eyes up on the target and uh, impact the, um, you're sorry, take care of that physicality and finish and now finally finds herself at the line for an and one. Lana Smith has had some positive moments for this team. She's up to five points now for the game. She can get a sixth here if she can convert from the line and she does so. A good help for Rosado in that point guard position. We know she's carried so much of the load of over so many years, Carmela Rosado. So good to see Alana Smith, an up and coming point guard, putting in some good minutes and some good points as well. Good look at the future for both teams, of course. Dominique Malonga, the 18 year old for France, has had some really positive moments. So, some great. Great players coming up into the, both of these teams. Shining on the biggest stage in a major tournament as Ali Gibson gets to the line for two. So it's a good endeavor by Puerto Rico to get, keep getting to the line and keep getting these shots. Well, what I liked about that was there was good movement. You could see Ali Wilson there, or sorry, Gibson, pass the ball and then cut straight away so there was movement there was she was able to receive it back and so that's a sort of quick movement that'll set things up for Puerto Rico a 
Emily Gibson goes one from two from the free throw line. Another foul committed there. Sophia Roma. Collected a good rebound and then just affected her shot with a foul in the end. So Puerto Rico have another go now from the baseline. Great one-on-one -on -one defense from France. They end up finding Gibson. Smith now. Vargas wanted Smith to go around her, then sent Ayayi to the deck, and Smith can't convert the three. Ayayi back on her feet now. Creating some offensive movement for France. Salon up against two, and it was great defense there from Puerto Rico. Great help. A bit of a mishandle there from Jones. Penny for coach Batista's thoughts. Still encouraging his team from the sidelines. Duche and Ayayi share it around. Every French player has touched the ball multiple times in offense. And Duche is going to head to the line for two. That was really active defense from Brianna Jones just trying to get up and in and, and be a little bit more smothering than just standing off and letting France do what they want to do. So it's a sideline ball instead. My apologies. And Gibson fouled Salon there. So Puerto Rico getting their hands involved now. Just trying to interrupt France in whatever way they can. They've got nothing to lose here. Well, they don't, and I don't mind when these, you know, bench players come in and, and try and create something, try and be up and in, as we can see Jones again. A beautiful step back from Dominique Malonga. She has been so impressive, showing off all of her moves. Eight points, four from six from the field to go with four rebounds for the 18-year-old French center and Salon's there to block Vargas, her opposite number 13. And there's a bit of discussion out there, we should say. Take a look at the defensive work from Janelle Salon here. It was a great move by Vargas, but a great response there from Salon. Puerto Rico ball. Roma puts up the shot and gets the finish. A positive moment for Sofia Roma, her first points for the game. Well, she really had to go up strongly there because there were a few French players covering her. We can see the two. We can uh, see Malonga there. And so that was a really nice finish. And she converts the three-point play, Sofia Roma. 31 plays, 81. Just under two and a half minutes left in this game. And then up next, it's up China against New Zealand. On the court side up or wherever you're watching around the world. Malonga into Sheri, who steps on the baseline. Foul was called on Brianna Jones. Just getting her hand in the way on that pass inside, that interior pass. So that now means it's a baseline ball for France. Duche, a long pass to Ayayi. Into Duche, back to Ayayi. He looks at the shot and can't convert it. Great rebound by Janelle Salon, and the shot just doesn't get finished off. A foul called again and a Puerto Rico ball. So it sends the French team over the limit and Nariman Vargas will walk up to the other end of the floor for her two shots. And the reason she's shooting those two shots is she, she was blocking out and the French player went over her back. So it's considered a, an offensive a, a, a foul that occurred when we would have had the, or Puerto Rico would have had the ball. So they're over the limit, France, and so she finds herself in the line and nails that first one. Puerto Rico doing well to keep up with the French team in this fourth quarter. 13 points to 10. France still leading the way, but it's definitely a change to what we've seen in the previous couple of quarters. Of course, we haven't seen the likes of Johannes on the floor for France at all in this fourth period. 
and for Troops, Shadi into Malonga now, Ayayi puts up a three and nails it. Valeriana Ayayi has had a really positive first game for the France team in this Olympic qualifying tournament. Oh, and a great block again from Janelle Salon. It was a great block, but I still liked the movement of Brianna Jones being aggressive to the basket. And Janelle Salon, she's been a force at the defensive end. A couple of nice blocks in this game. Still it's a Puerto Rico ball, and Roma again getting into a good spot, but Malonga gets herself another block. Two blocks in a row for France, and Malonga at the offensive end. Vargas able to slap, a, slap it away from Sherry. A minute 22 left. Duche. Sherry, a beautiful pass. And Sherry was fouled on the shot. Two more to come. It's very hard to defend a rapid fire pass like that coming from the baseline. Well, France have such a tall lineup on at the moment, and it's, it's just so hard for Puerto Rico to compete with that. So Alexia, Alexia Sherry burning her eighth point of the game, four rebounds and three assists as well. And she goes two from two at the line. Here is Alana Smith. Just over a minute left. And Puerto Rico finds some late buckets. Vargas. Into Jones, who's provided a positive spark. And Brianna Jones lands a triple. Love Brianna Jones' energy since, since coming onto the floor. Ayayi into Shari. Who's doing really well on the scoring end in these last few minutes. Gets the applause from her teammate Johannes, who's sat on the bench for this fourth term. Sofia Roma gets powered by Malonga. And she's going to head to the charity stripe for, for two free throws. You're right, Julia. Brianna Jones has really... Um, you know, sparked this team in the last fourth quarter, or sorry, in the last quarter. She's brought a lot of energy at both ends of the court. Now she's gotten some fouls, um, but certainly she's looking to be aggressive. So Roma lands the first one. Of course, a rest day tomorrow, and then up next, Puerto Rico play against New Zealand, so a good chance for them to bounce back in that game. As we know, New Zealand, a very tough opponent. That looks to be... That should be a great battle in this Olympic qualifying tournament. Course, three teams go through to Paris from the team of from the pool of four teams. A good interception there, and Smith gets off and running. Can't bake it in. Gibson a strong rebound, and she gets fouled and rewarded for that effort as well. So Ali Gibson will head to the line after a foul on Solon. Great hustle there from Ali Gibson. And again, they find themselves at the line. And the second one's able to rattle in. Gibson also has had some positive moments since coming onto the floor. And with 10 seconds left, France hoping to get the last shot of the game. It comes off the foot of Smith. So France, another go from the baseline, but it's been a very positive start for them. This FIBA Olympic qualifying tournament in Sian. The Olympic hosts trying to bring some form into their hometown come July. Duche, Salon for the finishing touches. The shot doesn't fall, but it doesn't matter. A comprehensive performance from the Olympic Coast France. They get their tournament off to a fantastic start, beating Puerto Rico in their opening game. Every teammate.
got involved, whether it was on the scoring end or the rebounding end or the passing end. Manin Johannes on screen, one of the stars of the game. And the two teams exchange high fives. It was a tough day out for the Puerto Rico team. And the final score from Sian is France, 88, getting the victory over Puerto Rico, 40. Well, Laurie, we have to give credit to the France team. That was a really impeccable performance to start off their tournament here in Siam. It really, it really, truly was. They, they looked like a team. They played together. They had lots of different options up there. Everybody was involved. And as you mentioned, they, they, their passing was just second to none. Hard game for Puerto Rico. Um, but you know what? They come to every one of these tournaments to try and learn from the games. From the, they want to play the great teams. Uh, you know, in France, there's no doubt that they are a great team and building toward Paris. Taking a look at the final game stats, you can see France dominant in two-point and three-point percentage, 47 and 42. Puerto Rico, we, see them, we saw them get to the foul line a lot, which was positive for them. France outdid the Puerto Rico team in rebounds. We know there was a big height discrepancy, but look at that assist call, 26 to seven. They utilize every single one of their passes and it resulted in three players, Jahan, Duche, and Williams, all in double figures. Well, the other count that, that was important there were turnovers, and, and Puerto Rico had 22, and, and that was largely on the back of the suffocating defense that, that France played and forced those turnovers, and, and that's just the sort of style that they were playing. It allowed France to give their bench players a chance to experience a major tournament here in Siam, but credit to Puerto Rico in that fourth turn, they were only outscored 20 points to 18. When you consider they were outscored 31 to 9 in the third term and 22 to 7 in the second, so they didn't give up, which is really important for Coach Batista. Well, they didn't, and, and you know we saw that their bench players came on and, and really, you know they they have nothing, you know nothing to lose. They want to try and get better. They want to try and think ahead to the next game. Uh, so you know give them credit for that that last quarter at least and the way. They they went about their business. Take a lot of positive energy going into their next game. So they face New Zealand on Saturday, and up next, France face China on Saturday. So two big games there, two big challenges up next for these two teams after a great start from France and a not so great one from Puerto Rico. Well, we have to remember, and what, what I was really impressed with with France too is the fact that they've already qualified. So so. They didn't necessarily need to play that hard or play it, but, but they're taking this really seriously, uh, the fact that they're trying to get better, like I said, create connections, see up over rotations, and they just did a great job of that in today's game. There's a lot of applause from the bench. We see an array of passing that was fantastic throughout the game from this French team. We saw a Yayi provide really positive moments, and you know what, it is gonna be a really hard team to pick come Paris. It's a really um, positive lineup here today for the France team. Well, you have to forget there's probably Gruda to come back into this lineup too, but, but that's what you want. As a coach, you want it to be hard to select your team and everybody's fighting for positions and, and they just had such a great combination of inside and out. They were very impressive. So, we're going to take a look at the group based standings now. We see France go straight to the top after that win over Puerto Rico, winning 88 to 40. And then up next, 7 o'clock local time, the host nation China in front of their loud fans here in Xi'an up against New Zealand, a new look team for them. It's going to be a great battle between these two. But for now, we're going to say goodbye from Xi'an in China, where it was France winning the game over Puerto Rico by 48 points, 88 to 40. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you at 7.